Okay, so here's how to disassemble an ASUS GL503V laptop. Um, so first what you want to do, um, there's this little rubber cover here. You'll need to use some kind of flat tool to m remove it because it has a strong adhesive on the back. Um, but basically just stick it between the edges and then kind of pry it up. Okay, once you got that, you'll want to remove all the screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten so there's remove all those ten screws then you'll probably want to use a flat tool to pry this up as well so let's see if i can do it with my nail but yeah so lift it like that there's some clips around the top and bottom so if you if it gets stuck you'll want to kind of like lift on the top so it kind of flexes the middle and then press down on the edges to help get the the clips out Okay, so there's the clips just like that. All right, once you do that, there's a few screws under here. You don't need to remove the screws for the hard drive or the SSD, uh, but you will need to disconnect this. So um, just grab the little tab and then you just pull on it. Um, if it's kind of stuck, usually I'll use like my fingernail and kind of pull the back, the side and then you just pull it to disconnect it. So underneath there'll be uh, one screw here, another screw here, and then one screw there. So once you get those three out, you can actually leave all of this. Um, you want to go around the edges. So I found uh, if you can kind of get underneath. And then while you're going, you can like slide your nails along the edges like this to undo the clips. So you just go all around just like that. I already unclipped it so it's easy to remove but um, yeah pretty much go around. At these spots where there's like just a small bit of plastic because the ports you want to be extra careful and make sure to pull those areas separately because each one of those have their own clips and once you go all the way around you can actually just lift this up just like that. Okay so you can see like how it has the clips there. All right. The hard drive will stay inside this, so just be careful with that. Don't knock it around too much, okay? And then you can see if you wanted to change the SSD or the hard drives on that thing. Um, so usually what I'll do is I'll always disconnect the battery first. So I did that already, but you basically just grab the two edges and kind of pull it, wiggle it sideways. Um, and then disconnect that and then hold the power button to drain any power just so you don't damage anything. So you can see the wireless card here. Wireless antennas go up there. Um, got the fan. I believe this fan you can actually remove just by taking the two screws out and then um, the connector here. CMOS battery, keyboard and backlight connector. I think this is for the trackpad. And then you got for the speaker and the charging port. And then you got the LCD connector here and the other fan here. So looks like if you want to change stuff on this, it's pretty simple. There's two RAM slots. There's already one here. There's an open one here. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, to remove the LCD on this one, you actually have to take the whole screen out because the way it's built, this it gets in the way, the base. So you'd have to hope open this, the screen 90 degrees, and then take these screws out and make sure to disconnect the... Wi-Fi connectors and this um, but that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can all right thanks for watching bye